butane uh, completely burns with air. For each case, obtain a balanced reaction equation for complete combustion with theoretical air. So you start off, that's the simplest one, C4H10, and then you're going to get oxygen from air. True? And it's going to go to CO2. Right away, after you've done this a few times, you know the carbon's going to all go to CO2, or that's the, the preferred place. Everything in this problem says it's going to go to CO2, so there's four CO2s to balance the carbon. And then you're going to get some water vapor, and the hydrogens are going to go into the water vapor. Only place there's hydrogens are in the butane, so we're going to get five waters. True? All right. And then uh, we need to back balance the oxygen at this point, and so we have eight plus five. Is that 13? Eight plus five? Is that how many O's are there? And then it's 13 divided by two. Did I back balance the oxygen? Thumbs up if you agree. Okay. And then we just complete the nitrogen. I'm going to stop. Is that the correct answer to part A? Complete combustion with theoretical amount of error. Yes? 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 A couple more yeses? Okay. Let's move to part B. You're going to have excess air. You're going to have 20% excess air. So rewrite the equation, but we know that we're going to start playing with the amount of excess air. So leave a little room in front of... Why didn't I change the CO2 and H2O? Because the carbon, I'm not changing the amount of fuel. And so the carbon is going to go to CO2 and the hydrogen is going to go to vapor, water vapor. All right, but I'm going to leave a little room because if I'm going to have some excess here, I'm going to have some leftover O2. All right, so now I, 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 I kind of know where I left some space to modify it for this part B. So I have 20% excess air. What can I put right here to represent 20% excess air? 1.2? And then over here, you're going to have 0.2 times O2 or 0.2 times 13 over 2 O2. Which one is it? On the O2. And then for the nitrogen, 1.2. So we had more nitrogen and more oxygen. A lot of the oxygen was consumed, but you still have 20% of that oxygen that came in left over. What came in? 13 over 2 kilomoles of O2. All right, so there's the answer for part B. Agree? Yes, sir. Good. Now let's go to C. 85% of the butane is consumed in the reaction with theoretical air. Okay, if 85% of the butane is consumed, that leaves 15%? Where does the 15% go? You have to basically answer that question. Where does the 15% of the butane go if 85% is combusted with the reaction? It just goes out in the products. You have hydrocarbons going out the smokestack or hydrocarbons going out the tailpipe. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and modify, and we'll be very tempted to change and put a 85 in front of that CH4. Don't do it. One kilomole of the fuel does come in, but only 85% of it reacts. 15% goes out as unburned in the products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to... Uh, 13 over 2, O2 plus 3.76 and 2. True? So we're back to 100% theoretical air, but all we're doing is not having complete combustion of the butane, but only 85% of the combustion. So what is left, 0.15 of C4H18. That's the first part. True? Do you like that? 15%? 0.15 kilomoles? C4H18. Oh, I messed up. Better get it 
I've been changing my numbers, huh? I don't know why 18's on my mind. All right, uh, I don't need all these extra parentheses. That should be good enough. All right, now um, let's continue on. Uh, I'm going to have four CO2s plus five H2Os, but I only burned 85% of that. I mean, I only made 85%. One of the fuel went to four CO2s and five H2Os, but here I have 85% or 0.85 times that same quantity. All right, and then uh, we stop and we pause, and we ask ourselves at this point, is the carbon balanced? Or am I going to have to put carbon anywhere else on the right-hand side? Is the carbon balanced? You can just run the numbers. It's balanced. It's balanced. We have a confirm confirmation, another confirmation. Is the hydrogen balanced? You think it's going to be balanced, right? If you balance, so, but check it, but check it. Okay. Um, is the oxygen balanced? Is the oxygen balanced, or did we not need as much oxygen because we only burned 85% of the fuel? How much oxygen is still left? 0 0.15, 13 over 2 O2s. Will that balance it? You have 13 O's on the left-hand side. How many O's do I have on the right-hand side? You do have 13 on the left and 13 on the right. It's been confirmed. The oxygens are now balanced. All right. Now, what about the nitrogens? Never need. I never leave enough room for the nitrogens. Okay, let's just stick it in here. 13 over 2, 3.76 N2s. True? Is that the nitrogen fixed? All right. Let me draw a line. That's the answer to part C. Now, how about D? 85% of the butanes consumed with 20% uh, excess air. So we go back to B and modify that. So C4H10 plus 1.2 times 13 over 2O2 plus 3.76N2. So there you go. I, now that we have the, the excess air, we leave it alone. We have 85%. So I'm going to have 15% of the fuel going out with the products. And then we're going to have 0.85 of the 4 CO2 plus 5 H2Os. True? Let's do the oxygen. I'm going to put the oxygen down here. And we're going to have 0.15 times 13 over 2. If it would have been 100% theoretical, but only 85% of the butane consumed. But then I also have this excess. So is that excess 0.2 plus uh, 0.2 times 13 over 2? Oops, I, I need a plus sign in there. Plus 0.15. And what about the N2? 1.2 times 13 over 2 times 3.76 times N2. I pause, I double check, I see if the C's are balanced, the H's are balanced, the O's are balanced, and the N's are balanced. 